This carbon fiber sheet is five times stronger than steel, but weighs less than paper, costs $300 per pound, takes 72 hours to make. Here's how they weave the future from oil and fire. Carbon fiber industry, $60 billion. Applications, everything from Formula One to prosthetic limbs. The challenge, turning petroleum into material stronger than metal. One mistake costs thousands. Here's the process. Oil, not the crude stuff, pure polyacrylonitrile, gets heated to 300 degrees Celsius in spinning machines that cost 5 million bucks each. Out comes fiber, thinner than human hair, but stronger than piano wire. Next, stretching. Machines pull these fibers under massive tension while heating them to 600 degrees. This aligns the carbon atoms into perfect chains. Think of it like combing tangled hair, but at the molecular level. Temperature control? Critical. Too hot and fibers burn. Too cool and they stay weak. Quality check happens every 30 seconds. Rejected fiber gets recycled immediately. Next up, weaving. Robotic looms work 24-7, creating fabric patterns that look like high-tech cloth. But check this out. Each thread placement affects final strength, computer-controlled precision down to 0.1 millimeters. Weaving patterns, dozens of different types. Plain weave for flexibility, twill weave for strength, each pattern designed to specific applications. Weaving speed, 10 meters per hour maximum, any faster and threads break. Workers monitor every inch because one broken thread weakens the entire sheet. Cost of mistakes, up to $50,000 per roll. Here's where it gets crazy. Dry fabric meets liquid resin in vacuum chambers. Pressure differential sucks resin into every microscopic gap between fibers. Resin types, epoxy, polyester, or specialized aerospace grades costing $200 per gallon. Infiltration happens under 15 pounds per square inch vacuum pressure. Takes six hours for complete saturation. Temperature during infusion, exactly 25 degrees Celsius. One degree off ruins the bond. Excess resin gets extracted because too much adds weight and weakness. Workers wear full protective gear because these resins are seriously toxic. Now comes the transformation. Wet fabric enters autoclaves, basically pressure cookers for composites. Temperature ramps up to 180 degrees Celsius over four hours. Pressure, 85 pounds per square inch. Duration, eight hours minimum. During curing, resin molecules cross-link, creating bonds stronger than steel. Computer monitoring tracks temperature at 16 different points. Cooling takes another 12 hours and must happen gradually. Rush the cooling and internal stresses crack the material. Success rate, 92%. Failed parts get ground up for lower grade applications. Final steps, cutting and finishing. Diamond coated blades slice through cured carbon fiber. Regular blades would shatter immediately. Surface gets sanded smooth using specialized equipment that costs $30,000. Edge sealing prevents moisture infiltration that would weaken the structure over time. Quality inspection uses ultrasonic testing to find internal defects invisible to human eyes. Before shipping, destruction testing. Sample pieces get stretched until failure. Target strength, 600,000 pounds per square inch. Weight comparison, aluminum needs four times the thickness for same strength. Testing machines apply 50 tons of force. Only after passing every test does carbon fiber ship to manufacturers worldwide. The result? Material that revolutionized everything from space shuttles to tennis rackets. From petroleum to performance takes three days and involves chemistry, engineering, and precision manufacturing. That expensive sheet now makes the impossible routine. If carbon fiber amazed you, wait until you see how they grow synthetic diamonds in two weeks. Subscribe for more incredible manufacturing stories.